My name is Alan Lang, Senior Beef Extension Officer. In this video, we talk about technology to identify superior bull fertility. And that's no bull. The annual purchase of replacement bulls is a major investment. So it makes sense to get value out of this uh, investment that a bull must have the ability to sire as many calves as possible. And you can't tell this by merely looking at the bull. To ensure that this purchase is a sound investment, the bulls must be structurally sound. They must be reproductively sound. That is, they need to be fertile. And preferably of superior genetic quality so that the traits, not only do they get cows in calf, but the traits they pass on are desirable and of better genetics. Buying an inferior bull can have a long-lasting effect on your herd and your prop and your pocket. So the principal component of this is called the BBSE, or a Bull Breeding Soundness Evaluation. It will help you identify superior bull fertility as well as physical soundness. The BBSE should be carried out by an experienced vet, and we show here the top of a Bull Breeding Soundness Evaluation form uh, that contains the details. The BBSE measurements involve a number of uh, a number of topics. Firstly, you need to look at structural soundness of the bull's legs, feet, eyes, and general structure. And here on this slide, there are a number of diagrams showing uh, uh, good points and bad points in the structure of of bulls. Also need to look for, have an examination of the penis, preppers and sheath. Merely looking for normal or abnormal. Abnormal, not acceptable. Uh, normal gets a tick and they're okay. So other BBSE measurements. Testicles, very important part of, of a bull and is the factory of being able to produce semen to get cows in calf. So in the testicles we need to have palpation of the scrotal contents so to make sure that they're the right texture not too soft not too hard need to recognize scrotal abnormalities uh, and there's a range of these that uh, vets are trained for and producers can be trained to do basic examinations themselves we need to have a measurement of scrotal circumference this is very important because it's closely related to daily sperm production and when it's related to age and weight it's an indicator of fertility traits of the progeny. But first, first important point is about minimum size so that daily sperm production uh, can be maximised. Then we need to look at semen and have an evaluation of semen. So the, the BBSE involves collecting the semen and then looking at volume, colour, density, motility and percent normal. It looks at the motility, so it indicates if it gets tick, it indicates that the bull's fertile and has 60% or higher progressively forward motile sperm. A P indicates he may be fertile under natural mating but it's likely that his semen may not be suitable for freezing for AI. Sperm morphology, very important part of this examination. Uh, a sample is taken and sent away to an accredited lab. Good semen should have greater than 70% normal sperm. One point we want to highlight is that this test reflects the fertility at the time of testing only and is not a guarantee for some point of time in the future when the bull can have, have the results of injury or disease uh, or sickness come in. Other BBSE measures are done, there's a palpation of the internal sex organs. This is done with a rectal examination. Assessing the bull's desire or libido and ability to serve females, uh, serving ability, it's a, there's a yard test available based on the number of times a bull will mount and serve in a set period, usually 20 minutes for Boss Indicus bulls and 10 minutes for Boss Taurus bulls. Other things to consider, 
EBVs or estimated breeding values related to bull fertility and production, reproduction. These components are scrotal size, days to calving, and then in a number of breeds, calving ease for daughters and milk EBV is important to some people. The plan of nutrition is important for bulls, both preparing for the next season of mating and in the process of buying bulls um, between when they're bought and when they go into mating. And DNA testing can be important in terms of uh, identifying uh, um, genetic diseases and making sure that a bull has the right is of the right parentage. For more information, there is a session at Beef 2012 in the James Lawrence Pavilion on breeding and genetics for fertility on Wednesday the 9th of May from 11.30 to 1.30. There are publications available on request. A lot of this information is on the Future Beef website. Uh, www.futurebeef.com.au and you can contact local Future Beef Extension staff.